Hello everyone, uh, Chaos Theory here. Just wanted to take a quick minute before this gameplay video. Um, the video is a little bit of a break from the normal thing that I've been doing with the constructed starter lists. I really wanted to just play something, um, something different, something uh, more experimental and like using more colors. So I played a game against my friend Impossible German and we had a good time and uh, that game's coming up in a minute. But I wanted to tell you real quick, thank you so much for supporting this channel. Uh, we're up to, um, I think, 185 subscribers, I believe. It might even be higher now. So thanks again so much for supporting. Thanks for liking and subscribing and commenting. Always enjoy hearing from you. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. <laughs> They're going to explode, probably. Oh, my. Oh, that was, that was actually very... <laughs> that's, that went a lot better than I thought it was going to go, actually. Yeah. Shout out to Claire, yeah. I believe that was her. Why is my... Dude, my... I need to roll back my drivers for my video card. Maybe that's what's happening. Wait a second. Oh, hold on a second. I know what's going on. I'm a big, dumb idiot. What's running in the background? No, it's it's not that at all. Um, so for D and D night, I changed some power settings on my laptop because I was using it unplugged, which I almost never ever ever do. Oh my! Oh my gosh! That's it explains so much. <laughs> That'll do it. Ah, uh, yeah. Now we're solid. Everything is solid now. So sorry about that. Um, let's see. I'm playing against a big old pile. Uh, what do I grab? You. The game actually got smoother on my end, too. <laughs> oh, really? It's almost like the, the host just freed up a bunch of memory. Yeah, probably. Um. So, listen. I was going to let this go for basically as long as I could stand it. But now uh, that I've got you back in the program, and presumably you're recording... um. I do think it's time. Um, for over a month now, uh, your mod has called them reconstructed decks. <laughs> no, I'm not changing it. Okay, uh, well, it's also reconstructed decks. Are you aware of this? <laughs> How did that happen? I think I can do it. I'm just going to wing it. I think I can play this hand. <laughs> think let me see here <sighs> should i do this or should i do the thing i love that the accent colors on the phoenix born almost always match the color of their glowy eyes like yours is oh. blue mine is purple oh yeah what a nice little touch all right i'm ready if, if you're ready i am totally ready my friend right, let me uh hair here on the board and uh roll Bloop. let's do it whoa six basic uh none basic that's what we're looking for um i think i'll choose you think so i would like to oh first all right i think this is my first time playing a seven color deck it's also believe it or not my first time ever playing odette so i'm really excited about oh, this. oh wow you're about to get a really bad impression of odette aren't you <laughs> i think it's possible <laughs> okay i'm so um, curious what your one illusion die is for i have thoughts i have theories but i don't know for sure i don't even remember what it's for oh that's promising do you know what all your dice are for? 
I mean, in theory. <laughs> um, I, know, I know what the idea is. Uh, wow, I can't even do that. That's hilarious. All right, meditate. Well, you know, I'm not using that. One. Two. Okay. Frags. Um, Just big frog, baby. Uh, three. Also a frag. Okay. All right. And we'll go ahead and uh, drop a burr. Rub a burr. Rub a burr. All the right. reason I was late tonight is because I fell asleep on the couch and didn't wake up until 8.20, and I've been so tired all day, so I had to go get an energy drink. Oh, gosh. Yeah. You're here now, though. Toidal right. Lord. I have to be very careful which dice I use and when. <laughs> Okay, let's summon a bear. Oh, wait, hang on. Whoa, not that one. There we go. Summon. I don't think I shuffled. I don't know if it matters. I'm going to shuffle now. Uh, you know what? I don't think I shuffled. Uh, I don't think it matters too much, but just in case. So summoning a bear, and then I'll use a side action to put down in power using time. Sonic boy. He's alert. Unlike me, he doesn't need rock star energy do his thing. That's what we hear. All right. That was a uh, meditate one as the side, by the way. Okay. Let's forget that empowers a side action. That's nice for your old action economy. Yeah, I love side action ready spells. Um, or side action to put in play. It's kind of nice. Chance of, chance of regringe. Yep. That's a good one. Let's do... Hmm. I just had a realization. Let's uh play Huntmaster. Huntmaster? Yep. Oh. Ah. Ah. And uh some status tokens. Okay. You're going to mount your Sonic Swordsman, aren't you? You know, I really thought about it. <laughs> Um, time hopper book. No, not my pamper. Gonna die. Okay. Let's get time hopper. It is a gift. <laughs> yeah. Uh then Main action. Play the monk book.
What's this? Crescendo. Oh. Without, without a sixth card. Um, that would be hilarious. Okay. That's a lot of beef over there. Oh, wait. I should have paid for my um, time hopper, I think. I think I will... Beef up the bear. Attack. Here? At the Sarasaurus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's hurdle it. Okay. Salamander. Um, <clears throat> I'll beef up the time hopper swing. Actually, wait. Hold on. Let me think. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's swing here, actually. I'll block. This is the part where you and realize what I realized earlier, and that is that I don't have enough nature for this opener. Um, side action. Oh, I'll just press the side. <laughs> Reconstructed. <laughs> Reconstructed, baby. <laughs> um, let's enter the fray, the butterfly knot. Okay. Um. Uh, going to a card. Oh, that's very interesting. And then I'll attack your Phoenix Warren. Got incredibly lucky on the straw. Nice. Got exactly what I wanted to get there. But now I have to take a beating, so. Hunt Master? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'll take one. Yeah. Oh, I'm s lagging really bad for some reason. Yeah, your ping's kind of going oh, up and Lord. down all over the place. Here, do you want me to? Oh my goodness! Please. I don't know what the heck. All right. Just passing it right back to you. Yeah. Dude, what the heck? <laughs> Attacking time hopper. Pass. Pass. All right. Here, I'll take care I of your don't. tokens. Thank you. Uh, it looks like it's clearing up. I don't know what that was. Okay. Still no power symbols. Okay. Good. 
Hmm, this is a pretty awkward hand. Checking the bear. Mm -hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. hold on. Okay. Let me think about that for a second. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually going to enter the fray of the bear. Okay. So you'll take two, and the bear will be... And then side action, med, one, two, three. And I'm getting bad this time. Oh, man. Not having... This deck is going to end up needing Magic Siphon. 100%. Not having any power. It's your power dice. Really, really sucks. I think I will... Play... I have no idea if this is the right play or not, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to play Shared Sorrow. And I'm going to discard a Hunt Master for my hand to get a Hunt Master back into my hand and deal three there. Uh, and then I will meditate one, two. What did you meditate there? Uh, crescendo and Raptor Herder. Or two frogs? Yep. And that's it. I'll go ahead and make a herder and mount it. Mm. Punk. And let's ping the monk. Wait. No, that's that's right. And then I'll send the house. Seven. Five, six, seven. Okay. Sir. And then they'll make a time hopper. I'm being anal about the position of these. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where's your dice? Uh. This <laughs> is such. <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um. Hmm. I'll do this. Okay. 
and you have water blasted. Yep. Where's that bear at? Alright, um... Side action heal. Hey, just so you know, heal is my least favorite card in Ashes. And I hate it so much, and I'm sick of seeing it. <laughs> it's it is really... the it is the most obnoxious card in this game, hands down. It's really good. It's really good. Uh, that's it. Just figured I would point that out for all our viewers at home. How much I hate that card. Oh, Where are you going? Wanna... I don't know. I don't want to give you another raptor herder. You can't guard here. You can unit guard. Um, what is the plan here? I think I'll just attack your Phoenix Sworn. Gross. Hmm. That really sucks. And then I'll block with turtle. Okay. You're attacking my time hopper? Yes. Mm, I'll just take this. Ugh. It's yeah. tough. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Attack here. Just had everything, didn't you? It Jeez, was an, what a an freaking mess. It was an interesting, interesting draw for sure. Like I had a lot of interesting tools and trying to figure out how to like use them the right way was was tough. Um all to action, two shadows here. Shadows. Ugh. All right. And then I'll take out the bear. Mm hmm. There we go. Dude, this was a horrible second hand that I drew into. What did you? What all did you draw into? It's well, I'll tell you in a minute. I'm, I don't have think I have any chance here at all, but I might as well play it out. I guess you'll see part of it because I'm discarding polarity mage. Polarity. Doing nothing. Oh, and you don't even. Yeah. And molten gold that I can't afford and does basically can't nothing. Afford, does nothing. It's too early for it. Yep. It was really, really bad. Okay. Um. <laughs> and I keep rolling so bad. Um. You have a leaf, though, crucially. Mm hmm I mean, I'm pretty much dead, but I'll play it. No, I can't even summon a butterfly monk. Yeah, I'm pretty screwed here. Because I can only summon one blocker, and 
fill your mount. I mean, I guess that's living. But it would have to be Prospect Bear. And it really sucks to just use a flash, flash. Oh my gosh. Frostback Bear to chump block something. But I got to do what I got to do. Play to my outs. And then Water Blast. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I need to reroll. <laughs> you didn't even have to roll. I think you're going to totally crescendo to. me, aren't you? No, um, it actually uh, is. I w fortunately. Oh, you I mount rolled, the anchor knot. Right, you mount the anchor knot, and then you and then you can't block both. So. Yeah. Yep. And I've got That's nothing in hand. See, this is the hand that I wanted in the second round. Ooh. I didn't know that you were running explosive growth. That's why the polarity mages. Uh -huh. Explosive growth. Yep. Yeah, and explosive growth on the um on the hunt masters would have been nice. Also, I didn't draw any standard bearers. Uh yeah, just the round two was really bad. Like I I rolled bad all game, but the round two hand was just so awful. Like there was nothing yeah. I could do with it. Well, and it's, I mean, you know, my thing with time hoppers is, is they enable other pieces, but it just feels bad to me sometimes to fill the board with things that can't block. Because then when it comes down to the nitty gritty, they're not there when you need them. Whereas every mm -hmm. other one die summon, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. can block. So, well, the know. thing I'm using time hoppers with hunt master as removal, basically. Right. It they're they are sort of one die two ones. Um, that like you put the status token on the hunt master when it comes into play, so you're replacing that hunt master value. Right. So, and so you just keep refilling your hunt master, putting them out, attacking with them, and they're like a little bunny machine gun type thing. Which is um, really cool. It's a cool synergy, and then you know, if you really stack up a hunt master, you can of course grow it. Explosive grow, and then go. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that second turn, and then explosive growth is good on standard bear too. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, really rough sec second round. I'm not sure yeah, I mean, about. <sighs> I'm not sure about empower unless I want to run more copies of it. And I don't think I want to. It's really just there to put a status token on a hopper for the most part because it's really, really hard to get a status token on a hopper. <laughs> yeah, especially if your opponent wants to remove them. Like, yeah. Like, a lot of times I was like, eh, the hopper can't block. If he makes more hoppers, I kind of don't care. And so that's why the anchor knot killed the, uh, the panther yeah. every time. Was because I was like, well, the Panther can block, and so, mm -hmm. and luckily, I, um, um, you know, into the fray didn't end up costing me too much health that mm -hmm. game. Into um, the fray is really good. Yeah, it's well, super duper good. And again, if I had drawn some explosive growths, like it makes your into the fray a lot less interesting. Oh yeah, uh, of, a, of an option for you, because like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Take six yeah. to deal two. Nah. Right. I think this deck needs Call Upon the Realms. I think I need to take out a few tech pieces and put in Call because mm -hmm. um, that second round I had to meditate five. Now, everything in my hand was worth playing. I had it to Shadows. I had a Call to Action. Like, just a bunch of really cool stuff that I was going to have ways to use. But, like, I was looking at my dice and it just wasn't right. And I think the odds of my dice just not being right in this deck are so high. <laughs> like, I think it, I think it's got to have three call upon the realms because I really don't want to give up a spellboard slot. Um, I'm not sold on Salamander Monk with a five battlefield though. I think mm -hmm. this might need to be something more, something a little juicier. Um, I mean, it, it was a, it worked here. 
No, I mean, but... yeah, it was fine. And it would have been, you know, it would have been um, resilient to like uh, Mist Typhoon or, or Nature's Wrath, but you never got around mm -hmm. to playing those. Um, but yeah, compare this this second hand with what I drew here. Like, if I had swapped these hands, it's such, it's so different. <laughs> like, yeah. th I can't use Molten Gold at all. And I don't want to. I already have. Well, the Huntmaster was fine, but Polarity Mage is worthless. Shared Sorrow, like, there's nothing I want to pull back from my discard right now. It was literally just to use as removal for a Huntmaster. So that's three cards that are worthless. And then these two. And then I didn't roll any frogs, so I had to meditate. I had to meditate for frogs so many times. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Well, it was fun game, though. And yeah, I like the idea of this deck. I think I may have need to first five a little differently. Um, I may not. I may have to just not go with four books at the beginning to make this work. I, I don't know about that. The, me, me either. If I add more, it could be really potent removal tool because What's the focus one again. You, Damn it! Uh, yeah. No man. I mean, I mean, it's good, but it also takes away your closer. Like, and like, I think at that, if you're in that position where you have to take away all the tokens on a on a bearer or a hunt master just to remove well, something, like you've probably lost at that point. Well, the crucial thing here is that it doesn't specify an unexhausted unit, so you can. That's uh, true. You can attack with an explosive growth unit. And then remove the four tokens off of it to to deal four damage. It's just that so maybe I cost. just need to read. Maybe I need to play more. The play cost does suck, and it it doesn't really do anything for me round one. And you kind of want it round one. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I take it out. I don't know if I need it. I I'm actually playing more books than I, I'm overloading my spell board. The other two books, I have a uh, Jaguar in here as the tech thing. And then what was the other one? I actually think Jaguar, like, might be important. Oh, uh, mirror, it, mirror Spirit. Yeah. If you're trying to get a, uh, a big Huntmaster, like an explosive one, past yeah. something, I think, yeah, I think Jaguar is real good. Hmm. Yep. It's also expensive, but specs obviously good. I man, I have come around so hard on Butterfly Monk. Like, it's a oh, it's such a good book. It, it's, <laughs> it's really, really, really good. good because it you know a lot of times if I kill their unit guard or whatever, it's like okay, I got it out of the way. But every time Butterfly Monk dies, it just heals you and like. Ugh. Like it just mm -hmm. it it feels so bad to remove. Um, I actually I played uh, Kaylee today, just a random game, and she absolutely annihilated me. Um, she was playing an Echo deck uh, where she was playing like a ton of Divine Dice, and she was mm -hmm. playing Celestial Knight. Um, and then she also got a Root Armored. Uh, holy knight down round one and so just mm -hmm. two armored three threes and then she just started meteoring the board <laughs> just over and over and over again oh. and and i had nothing i mean just meteor with armor on the board is just, it's just real bad um and yeah. the only solace that I had the only reason that the game was even moderately a fight was because I kept using Fiona to put multiple butterfly monks out. So at least every time she meteored the board, I would get health back. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. I must, have, I must have gained six or seven health back just off of butterfly <laughs> monk spam. And I was like, see, Fiona's uh, a 20 health Phoenix born, you know? Yeah, like, you just, fine. yeah. <laughs> you spam butterfly monk. So, and what's funny That's is like, way. it's that deck was designed to spam strengthen with Fiona's ability, but instead mm -hmm. I was spamming butterflies because I was trying not to die. <laughs> yeah. 
it was good, but I, that got me really thinking, like, man, what if you just have a bunch of armored units, and then you meteor everything? And mm-hmm. I was just like, this is, a, this is an interesting concept. So yeah. I was playing around with it in, I was trying to build one in Xander, because I was like, you know what's better than three meteor? Three meteor and three earthquake. Uh, uh-huh. That sounds yeah. fun. So um, not that I would ever get to play one, but no, you know, but just to have them yeah. there to feel right. Safe, but in theory, guess, if yeah. I'm if I'm meditating earthquake, then I'm not meditating meteor, huh? Huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess, yeah. Sure, yeah. Or you just meditate both of them. Um, I'm leaving preconstructed. 